Time to game smarter. All right, so welcome back to Project Octopath Traveler. I think the last episode I did uh, ended up getting split up into two, so this should probably be episode three, and I have a feeling this is going to be the end of this playthrough. Uh, we have one more other playable character in the demo that we're going to give a shot to. Uh, we're trying to get in something else, something new. Um, the lav mic did work last time, uh, but now we're sitting at the desk using our mic and just don't have a face cam going. So we're going to finish up all brick here in the brigand's den. I have a feeling this should be, once we save this kid, which I have a feeling is just around the corner here, um, it's basically going to be the whole game. Let's check our health here. Our health's pretty good. And our, yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Oi. Do tell me about this friend of yours. Knows how to fight, does he? That's right. He, he sure does. He's stronger than all of you put together. I think I'm peeking there. We're just going to turn my mic down a little bit here. You won't stand a chance. <laughs> Stronger than all of us? That's a laugh. The boys daft. Hey, come on. It's not a joke. Stop laughing. <laughs> Bloody hell. You hear that, mates? This hedge knight's the strongest blade in the realm. <laughs> if he thinks he can beat all of us, he's more madman than knight. <laughs> this ain't a fairy tale, boy. Real knights don't piddle away their days in the company of swineherds. <laughs> if he's a knight, then the stories, from the stories, a damsel in distress might serve a better bait. Reckon we should go back for the mum? <laughs> <laughs> ah, now there's a plan. I'll drink to that. <laughs> hey, come on! Stop it! You won't be laughing when Sir Berg is through with you. Sir Berg, now that's a frightening name. Look, me arms are all trembling. Stop. Shut up. All of you. Huh? Boss? Hi. Reckon the boys got more courage than the lot of you and more wits to boot. To boot. He's Canadian. <laughs> so less yammering and more sharpening your stabbers. But, but boss. Ain't no way the Hedge Knight will follow us here, unless he's mad and all. <laughs> I. It ain't like he's own son or nothing. Why should he care? Uh-oh. <laughs> Why, indeed. Things could get interesting, though, if he does show. Always had a soft spot for men with more courage than sense. Hey. Hey. Hi. Like the boy here. What do you say, laddie? Care to join our little family? We're always looking for men with pluck. What the hell's pluck? On your life. What's pluck? I'll never join you! I'm going to be a brave warrior like Sir Berg! That's his real name, <laughs> I swear! <laughs> you hear that, man? The boy says he's too good for bad banditry. Is that a word? I don't think banditry is a word. Think you're the only one who feels that way, boy? Well, let me tell you something. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. What is it, boss? Sir! Sir! Sorry I'm late, lad. Got held up along the way. <laughs> I, uh, it's the mighty Sir Berg in the flesh. He yeast, man. How did he get in here anyway? Where are the lookouts? Bleeding in the dirt, last I saw. <laughs> Sir! Stay back! I don't want to get you in half, too! Did, did, did he just... He parried the boss's blow! <gasps> oh my god! Hang me, but I the boss's blow! I won't do that before. <laughs> Uh, you're quick, all right. Clearly, no common hedge knight, are you? Just as you are no common brigand. That blade. That blade. Like it, do you? 
It just so happens to be a present. From an old friend of mine. Earhart? What? Oh, you know the man, do you now? So it is his blade. As if I needed another reason to cut you down where you stand. How do you know Earhart, rogue? Speak, or I'll slice your throat. They would get messy. You've got a score to say. Is that it? I can see it in your eyes. They blazed like fire when you said his name. Look, I don't know what passed between you and Earhart. But if you're looking to ask questions of me, my good sir, you'll have to earn the right! Oh, I was right. I will not Holy crap, look at him, he's big! And I'm tiny! All right. Abide. Now I'm thinking. The strategy is going to be one of two ways. It's going to be rather put everything on him and win the fight. Or these idiots are going to end up doing me more damage. And I should worry about them first. I think I'm gonna try and take them out first. So watch, oof, my health. Yikes, the okay, item. Healing great. Good thing I got an extra one for Hold fighting the face. old man. Job. Good job. Okay, so I think my abide's gone. My face is unbending. Let's do an ability. Okay, so those guys are weak to swords. But big dude isn't. Gotta heal again. Okay. Okay. I think I'm getting this. So we're gonna heal myself up. This? And now, we're going to abide. No, you know what? Let's abide. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have powered up the abide. Oh, well. He's binding. Binding. I think I'm going to have to defend now. I think not. Okay. Yeah, because I would have hurt. Oh, whoa. If I wasn't defending, I would have lost. Right there and then. How about this? So, right up there by my name is where my abide is. So, it looks like I've got one turn left. Yeah, I've got one turn left with it. So, I should be able to do this, though. Max the shit out of this. And go deep shit on these assholes. Great. Okay, dead. Love it. Okay, so now I just have to stay alive. Oh, bright abilities. Abide. A max abide. Let's back it off by one. I can take one more of those. So abilities. He's a spear. Let's hit him with that. Nice. Okay, now it's time to heal up. Item. Healing grape. Go. How about this? Get on board this. So he's biting. I have to defend this round. Oh, I can level up my defend. Ooh, then let's do it just once. Why not? That's awesome! What a cool RPG mechanic! Oh, man. I might get into this game. Okay, so I've got no more SP, so I need to use up a plum. How about this? How about this? Okay. Do I have any more? Okay, one more grape, so i got to make this count. So i got to abide. 
Yeah, let's do a level two abide. Yeah, okay, we're good, we're good. Abilities. No! Here we go, level three spear thingy. That's almost a thousand damage. Okay, and I should be able to do one more. At least level two. 652, not bad. Okay, now I gotta heal up one last time. I am um, healing great. How about this? How about this? Okay, he's biting, so I'm gonna do a max. How about you? Actually, do a little too defend. Wow. He's getting stronger I think each time he uses bide. So I'm going to abide. Level two. So I can just see. I this is the only thing I hate about RPGs. When you have to fight a boss like this and you have no idea how much health he is. I I mean numbers are something, right? But yeah, like I, I can see. That didn't do as much as if I had a higher abide or whatever, right? But... I just, I don't know, being able to see the percentage drop, like in, in Mario plus Rabbids, it gives you an amount, which if you're in the number type, it's great, but it also gives you a level power. All right, level six. I got one fire soul stone. I yield. Mm. Now, I will have my answers. How do you know Eckhard? Uh. Earhart, sorry. We fought alongside each other is all. Served together in a band of mercenaries. He was already an old hand when I signed up. Helped me out, showed me the ropes. Mm -hmm. A cell sword. And where is he now? <laughs> Damned if I know. When our group disbanded, we went our separate ways. After that, I drifted from one town to the next. Tried one trade, then another. But swinging a blade's the only thing that's ever come natural to me. So here I am. Times are lean and a man's got to make a living. Amen, brother. Amen, brother. <laughs> Anyone could use a sword arm like yours. You could protect the people instead of stealing from them. Aye. Aye, it could. But honest work takes more wits than the god saw fit to bless me with. I'm a dumbass. Never meant to do anyone no harm, but I'm stupid. But life doesn't always give you a choice. That are what? So he's just blaming me. He's like, I'm a bad guy because I'm dumb. Choice or no, you must answer for your crimes. Time to die. I I know the score, but I've got my men to think about too. Well, boss, but wait now, boss, boss. Boy. Easy now, men. Hedge Knight has the right of it. I've got more than enough blood on my hands. Live by the sword, and well, you know how it goes. Man has to own up for what he's done. <laughs> ah! No. Enough blood's been spilled here today. Surrender and I will see that you and your men are not harmed. Mm -hmm. You do me a kindness, Hedge Knight. And so, what do you want in return? I told you I don't know where Earhart is, and I don't. But, and as someone who might. Hi. <laughs> Gustav's his name, Sir Gustav. Some call him the Black Knight. Oh, there's such fusses about nonsense. Earhart taught us both how to use a sword back in the mercenary band. No, not that kind of band. You should find him in Victor's Hollow. And this man will tell me where Earhart is. Hi. He might. <laughs> he might? You're sending me on a wild goose chase because he, he might. Then again, he might not. Still. If you want to find him that much, I can reckon it's worth trying. Wow. Give me that damn sword. I 
I saw it in your eyes, Hedge Knight. They were dead, like a fish. But the moment you saw my blade, they came to life. Dead? Have I truly been... <laughs> what does a common thief know for of men's souls? Look! Berg! Thank God you're safe! My woman and children are as well, sir! That's right. Round up the thieves and lock them in the village, Gaul! <laughs> Berg, I could swear I've heard that. Gods be good, Heilsberg. <laughs> Should have known it the way your eyes lit up to mention e Earhart's name. Aye, you're no Hedge Knight. You're Sir Albrecht Eyes Els Elsenberg. The unbending blade. Oh my god! <gasps> what? He's laws of legend! Huh? Huh? What? The unbending blade? Oh, damn it! They said he was slain when Hornberg fell. But, but I'd hear he lived, but Scarred believe, uh, believed it. But I scarce? Oh, scarce believed it until today. I good at reading. Um, Is it true, sir? Are you a, a real knight? Are you a real boy? No. Long ago, lad. Long ago. Let's be on our way. We've kept your mother waiting long enough. You going? Yes, sir! A lot of damn reading in this game, I will say that. After that... Hmm. You're not gonna read this? Thanks, Albrecht. This village has been good to me, but it's time to move on. I shall find Earhart, so that I might find the reason I wield this blade. Okay. That was not very written well. To find a man named Gustav, and God's willing, Erhard himself, Indeed. so I can slit his throat. Victor's Hollow, the man said. That's where I must go. I had stopped believing that... Why is he turning into... He's he suddenly Keanu Reeves. I had stopped believing that I would be one day donned these clothes again. I am the chosen one. The journey will be a long one, and I have no more reason to tarry. He just ran into the wall. He's like, that wasn't the door, damn it. Oh, I got to play a bit. I'm a historian seeking traces of legendary king, I don't know, the great. I'm sure you've heard of him. Why, it was none other than he who founded the kingdom of Hornburg. Some colleagues who shall remain nameless for the sake, mock my word, King Bawolf, is just a myth. They laugh, but I say, no, I know they were wrong. That's why I'm here, you see to discover the great king's monument and prove he did once walk this earth. Perhaps you could help me. I'm gonna come across some ancient plinth, 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 or carved granite or some other stone erection. Pray tell me at once. I think I just got a quest. Well met. Well met. like there was another exit. Yeah, is it down here an exit? Hey, the old man's alive! <laughs> so you truly mean to leave us? Yes. You have shown me nothing but kindness. I am forever in your debt. Oh, it is we who owe you, friend. For the choice mine to make, you would stay with us forever. But it is your life to live. We will never forget all you've done for us, sir. The next time any dirty brigands come after us, we'll give them a good kick in in your name. We're no knights, sir. 
But you've taught us well. We can protect our home, or at least. Glad to hear it. I'm sorry, sir. Philip, he wouldn't come. Didn't want you to see him crying, most like. I understand. Tell the boy I'm counting on him to grow strong. And to look after his dear mother. Thank you, sir. I will. When you've done whatever it is you must do, pray, come back and visit us. No matter how far your journey takes you, you'll always have a home here. Thank you. And with that, thumb, I had best... <laughs> Whoa! Philip! Little shit trying to beat me up. It's alright. It was a good blow, lad. Strong. I'm going to keep training while you're away, and and then when you come back, I'll I'll be even stronger, and then. Good voice acting. Maybe I could. Like I seriously think this kid's crying. Oh, I'll get stronger too, and we'll see each other again. You have my word. Isn't that you, touching? You better not forget. A knight. A knight always keeps his word. Aww. And thus, Albrecht the knight set out on a new journey. He would find his former comrade, Earhart, and ask him why he did what he did. Dude, why'd you do what you did, man? Then what the hell? And mayhap, he would discover that which he had lost. The reason why he yields his blade. Ooh, I think this needs to be fleshed out a bit more. You know, and you know what? Maybe they, they're just kind of dumbing it down a bit because they don't want to give away too much of the plot that they do have planned. What fate awaits him? Only time can answer that. Thanks for applying! Oh, I called it! We hope you enjoyed the demo. This was the opening chapter of Albrecht's Tale. What wonders and dangers await him in the vast world? You can join eight heroes on their journey in the full version of Octopath Traveler, which doesn't exist yet. Voice actor, Patrick Seats. Uh, it's kind of shitty that only Albrick and Primrose get voice actor because like, the kid was good. Venture to the neighboring region and meet another hero. Visit the desert town of Sunshade, where another hero, the dancer Primrose, waits. Strike out on a new adventure. So am I... Is that where I'm going now? Well, Matt... So guys, I think, I think we're going to stop here. Yeah, let's stop here and maybe we'll pick up another episode. I'm going to do a little bit of research and see if it'd be better to continue this or just start up a Primrose account. Um, we'll see what it is. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And tell me what you think of the game. Is Albrick, like, is it just me or is some of the script writing kind of funny? Um, it's a demo, so things really can change. And I'm going to find the link to this, uh, this, this survey they want you to take after playing it. And we'll all, we'll all fill it out together, I guess. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this is making you a better, smarter gamer. And hopefully maybe my strategy fighting that boss will help you when you have to do the same thing. And don't forget that this game is over on the eShop right now. It's a, it's a demo, uh, but it's a free download. So head over there and check it out and play through with this guy and and Primrose as well. Guys, till the next video, game smarter.